Hi, this is Elijah with the Oxygen Team, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an animated notification bar for your website using Oxygen's modal feature. As you can see, we have a notification bar across the bottom of our page with some buttons or some text explaining any kind of information that might be important for our users to interact with. And if we refresh the page, you'll see that it is smoothly animated in when the page loads, which brings attention to it. I'm sure you've seen this on hundreds of other sites. So we're now able to do this in Oxygen using the modal feature without the need of any additional plugins. So let's tell this thing to go away and let's jump into the back end and get started with setting this up. So I've already got a page design set up and I would like to add my notification bar to this page. So we'll start by clicking add, going to helpers, and choosing modal. Now by default the modal will be inserted at the bottom of the page, but for this example we're going to go ahead and choose live preview for the in editor behavior so that we can see how it overlays the rest of our content. Now for trigger we're going to choose after specified time, and we want this to come up pretty quickly. You can choose zero seconds, but for this I'm going to choose one. Now we also have the option to not show this again on every page load. For this example, I'm going to leave it just showing every single time we load the page. Um, let's jump back over to the settings. Uh, content styles, we do not need to adjust for this, except for the background color. We would like to set it to something that matches our theme. Maybe like a golden color here. Great, that's close enough. So we have our background color set and we want to go back over to the modal settings in the properties pane and go to modal styles. This is where most of the magic is going to happen. So we're going to set the width to 100% and the backdrop color, we're going to make it fully transparent because we don't want to fade out any of the page content. And now we need to change the modal position to be at the bottom center of the screen. So you can see it's already coming together. It looks like a notification bar. We just need to add some content. So let's go back here and let's change the closing behavior a bit because we do not want it to close when the user clicks uh, the escape key. And we do not want it to close when the user clicks our invisible backdrop. So say no. Now let's add some content to our modal. So we're going to click add and we're going to choose under basics the columns element. And let's do a 60-40 layout. We'll have our words on the left hand side and then our buttons on the right hand side. We'll leave all the column settings at default. Uh, this should work well because it'll go ahead and stack them vertically at less than 992 pixels, which means this should work well on mobile devices. Now let's go ahead and click our left hand column and let's add a text element. This is going to be our little notification and it's going to say something like hello welcome to the site please agree to the terms linked below or leave now. Great. And then we can also add say a text link from add basics and we'll just change this to say terms of use. Great. And now we can uh, center these in this column div. Uh, that should look pretty good. And let's change this link color to something different. I don't like the blue. So let's try uh, dark gray. And then we'll go to advanced typography. And let's give it an underline. So we know it's a link. Great. Now let's go to the right hand side of the column. And we're going to add a button that says I agree. Great. Now let's add a, a text link that says I don't agree. Wonderful. Now let's set these to stack uh, horizontally by choosing the div, uh, the right hand column div, and going to the properties pane and saying uh, layout child elements, stack child elements horizontally. Wonderful, let's center them vertically and then we're gonna add some space between the text link and the button, maybe like 25 pixels. 
great. And we're going to change this uh, text link to match the style of our terms of use link. So basically just need to set it to a dark gray color and go to advanced typography and add an underline. Now let's style our button. Let's select it and change the button color to uh, the same dark gray because that matches our theme. Uh, and the text is fine, so we'll leave it white. Um, so now we need to make sure that when the user clicks this button, uh, the modal is closed because they agree, so make it go away. Um, so the way to do that is to select the button, go up to the top of the properties pane where you see the ID uh, badge, and we're going to click that, and we have the opportunity to enter a class name. We need to enter oxy-close-modal and click add class. We'll also want to set the URL of this button to uh, pound sign to make sure it doesn't try to redirect us anywhere. Um, I don't agree could do anything you want. For this, we won't set it up to do anything. It could take you to another website or um, to a contact form or anything you'd like. So we'll leave that as is. Let's take a look on the front end now at what we have. So this should come up after one second with a notification bar. Great. It's a little boring though because it just fades in. Well, we don't want it to fade. We want it to slide in from the bottom. So let's jump back over to the builder and let's um, select our modal element in the structure pane, which is all the way here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and in the primary tab of the properties pane, set it back to live preview so that we see what it looks like over top of everything else. And we're gonna add an animation to the modal. Luckily, we have an animate on scroll library integration, which makes this super easy. So let's go to advanced with the modal selected and we'll go to effects, animate on scroll, check enable animation, and we'll choose slide up. That's the one I'm looking for. And then we'll adjust the duration to something like 800 milliseconds. Great. Let's save that and take a look on the front end. We'll reload the page and see what our notification bar looks like. Wonderful. After one second, our notification bar pops up tells us what it wants to tell us, and then we can click I agree to dismiss it. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's how to set up an animated notification bar in Oxygen using the modal element. Thank you very much for watching.